I'm sorry? Um, no, this area is kind of interesting. Unless you don't want to let me uh, go back there. <laughs> oh, cool. I'll just take some pictures of these cars over here. Um, where a crap ton of cars come in from the port. Uh, right off of Fry's Street near Anaheim Boulevard. Somebody has to park every one of these cars when they get off the boat. That is crazy. It looks like the uh, Disneyland parking lot. Uh, oh, here's the LA Port Police building right here. Hey, we won't have any problems with uh, response time, I guess. You guys have a good night. Yeah. Good man, how you doing bro? Huh? So what brings you out here? I was taking some pictures. Uh, well, actually just stuff that looks cool. You know, it's a little weird, uh, weird time and weird place. Maybe for you, but you have, I have you different have any weapons on you? No. Um, I have a flashlight. Know? Okay, can you set that down for me, please? Why am I? I'm going to pat you down for weapons. Pat, why are you patting me down? What did well, I do? Because uh, you're in a weird place in a weird time. Well, I'm on a public. I'm on a public. Listen, street. I don't want to argue with you, okay? Okay. It's almost go 3 ahead. in the morning. I'm trying to move just, so you can pat me down. Just go ahead, pl place the flashlight down, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, let me put it in my bag. I don't want to get it cracked. This is, right. You know, this is a terminal area, correct? Yeah, I didn't know. Here, just put your toes on the curb. Sure, sure. I didn't know that my. Um, pat you down for weapons, all right? So you can chill. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you just asked me. You just asked me. Like there to get. Hey, you just asked me a question. Do you want me to? Okay. Do you want me to answer the question you asked me? Yes. Go ahead. Are you gonna let me? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Nice. Um, I didn't know that my constitutional rights stop at a certain time of night. That seems to be when, what you're when implying. You, when a person is in a uh, strange place at strange time of night. I'm on a public I street. Have, a police officer has every right to stop that person to question them why they're there. You can have a consensual conversation, okay. but this is a forced no, it's detainment. Not, it's not. This, this is a this forced is a, detainment. This what you're is doing. a detention right now. Okay. Okay. You because, need to have a reasonable because, suspicion to have that detention. Yes, and the re reasonable suspicion is that it's almost three in the morning, and you're wandering around an area that is nothing but terminals. You can Fuel. clearly see I'm taking photographs. Well, I don't know what you're doing, so that's why we're gonna talk. But first, I want to make sure that you don't have any weapons. Yeah, yeah, on just you, yeah, check which me. Which is standard procedure. Okay? Go ahead and check me. This so you can just relax, and then okay. we'll have a conversation. Can you spread your feet for me a little bit? You're a tall guy. A little more. Okay. Alright. So, nothing in this bag like knives or things like that. A camera, a bunch of camera gear and stuff. Okay. There's some pepper spray, but that's about it. Alright, you're not gonna pepper spray me, are you? <laughs> no. Alright. No, no, no. I mean, unless you attack me. Well, I'm not gonna attack you, I just need to know who I'm dealing with, alright? So. Okay. Uh, I understand you have constitutional rights and. It's got a phone. That's fine. So. Um, you have to actually have reasonable suspicion of a crime. What's now, that? some now PC I, I PG the, law, okay. the PC 148G states that photography in itself is not suspicion for RAC Listen, or RAS. We, we can so, talk law all day. So if you're just taking mm -hmm. photos and that's all, because you're whatever interested in terminals. That's what I'm doing. Well, that's fine. Okay. Sure. But you have to understand that a police officer has certain legal rights. Okay. Well, now, now you want to talk about the law. But a minute ago, you said you don't care about the law. Do you have any ID on you by, by any chance? I'm not. I, unless you're detaining me for a crime, I'm not going to give it to you. Can I see your ID? 
unless you detain me for a crime. I'm not. Okay. California's not stopping ID so, state. So you're basically just creating an incident out of no. just because you want to. You're be creating an incident. I'm just walking by on a public sidewalk okay. taking pictures. At, at this time, right? Doesn't matter what time it is. It's uh, 2:45 in the morning. Yeah. Have you ever heard of night photography? So have you ever heard of terrorism? So this is a. Uh -huh. So a terrorist is going to stand out here with a with a vintage camera I, and take I, pictures from I a sidewalk with a GoPro are. on his hat. I don't know. Who so you are. should assume I'm a terrorist. Okay. I I assume I kinda, nothing. I kind of think I the terrorists inquire. have already won if that's the okay. way you're acting. I, I'm inquiring. You're not inquiring. You're forcibly so, detaining me and then forcibly asking well, for my I'm not ID. I'm forcing detaining you. I just want to pay down for my safety. Interest, okay. Right? You could have just talked to me from a few feet away. You didn't have to force me into that groping thing. I mean, I'm a grown man. You I'm just, not groping you, okay? You groped me pretty badly. <laughs> no, re seriously. Okay. You, you groped my crotch this a few times. This is how times. you're going to make this into a groping thing. I didn't. You're the one that did it, not me. You made it into a groping thing by Can groping me. Can I see me. your ID, please? Are you telling me you're going to take me to jail if I don't give it to you? No, I'm not. So I'm not going to give it to you, you then. Anything. I would, I'm just asking if I could see your ID. I would politely decline the request. Okay, that's fine. Am can I free I to go? You, can I ask you why you're taking photos am of I free to? Am I free to go? Well, you're free to go, but can I ask okay, you why nope. you're taking photos? Have a, have a great night. Have a great night, man. Okay. Have a good evening. You too. And with Kurt Kurtowski? Kurtowski, yes. Can you I get the badge number? My name. Huh? Okay. See, whoa. It is bright here. Super bright. Good smile. And what is your name? Good citizen is my name. Okay. Well, you're, you're, what you're is? not being a good citizen because you're being an <laughs> No, I think the person letting the person finish their sentences is the more polite one. And I'm letting you finish yours. You're not letting me finish mine. I feel great now. I just got a free uh, rectal exam. <laughs> That's great. I'm done anyway. I don't want to sit around here all night. Why do they show up at the end of the pictures? Why don't they show up when you begin taking pictures? So no matter what, it looks like you're taking off, but I'm done anyway. That's kind of cool. Huh? He doesn't care about the law when it doesn't suit him. But when it suits him, he has a legal right for his safety. So all that really matters is his safety and what he wants to do. You're right, says so citizen, don't really matter. If you guys want to call in to the uh, Harbor Patrol and Mention Officer Kurtowski. Sometimes it gets a little weird on me. The beeps and the noise is not. Picture of this. So we're waiting um, to get a complaint form. I understand it's late, so the lobby's not open. Since I was three miles away, I figured I'd just stop by. Let's go right there. Hi, sir. Hey. Are you the one that uh, wanted to file a complaint? Yes. Right, let's come on in here in the lobby. So okay, cool. Right All right. Well, actually, I'd like to take the... Oh, do you just do it on paper like that? Do well, you... this is an actual form, but why don't we okay. come inside here? What's your name, sir? Uh, I didn't give it. Oh, I didn't use my card. Hold on a second. I actually just want to take the form and send it in anonymously. Oh, okay. You don't want to give me a statement or anything? No, nah, I'd rather just send it in. Um, I kind of think, you know, I don't know, having that person okay, so have I, access to my, my name I and address. There at the, I wasn't there at the yeah. call, okay? And um, uh, obviously, I don't know exactly what happened. I just got yeah. a call right now from dispatch. So. I, yeah. But my job as a supervisor is to see if there's any violation of policy. Is there okay. any violation of your rights? I didn't explain to you what happened. Okay. Pretty basically. Right. Um, uh, and you won't tell me who you are? No, I just feel like it's... So I for don't... me to afford a complaint, I'm going to need, obviously, a name, right? 
because not according to your website, you don't. Well, you can make an anonymous complaint, but mm -hmm. it's usually a lot better. So if you want to just fill out the form. How about this? I'll do it anonymous. I'll put an email address okay. that I check, and if there's something with meat on it, you got then you guys can call me up and I'll. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is the form. This is the basically the pamphlet. If okay. You follow the directions on here. Okay. okay. And what um, is your what's your Sergeant C. C and uh, 245. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, but we'll I just don't want my name all through your, your system fine. for like. Then, you know something, we'll just leave it at that. Send in what you're going to send in. Okay. And then our uh, internal review will actually look at it. Sure, It'll sure. I have no that. problem coming down and talking, talking on camera. Mm -hmm. I just don't want my name in the system where there could be retaliation if there's no meat on it. If nothing's going to happen anyway, why risk it? So, what happened was I was down on Fry Street taking pictures of kind of there's an area there where the barge comes in and a lot of like all the new cars come in mm -hmm. and it looks really just looks bitching. I do night photography mm -hmm. and it's just a little out of the ordinary but it's something I do. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff right there on that street where is it, it dead like ends. Two in the morning or something? Yeah. Okay. And um, it, where it dead ends there is kind of um, there's a there's actually a Los Angeles it says port police there's a building there at one end. Mm -hmm. And this is the big fuel terminal. Um, yeah and so well the, and then the other end connects to access road. So it wasn't right where Access Road was, where there's a port building there, but it was down Fry's Road where it dead ends. So I'd gone by, inadvertently there's a security shack, and the guys were kind of like, they probably thought it was weird. And I waved you to them, I let them know. I walked down the, down the street and back once. I was actually on my way out. I'm sure they must have called them right after I walked out of their site. Because um, it's not normal to see someone back there, probably. True, well, no, I get it, I get it. But that's all what consensual you know, conversation is all about. So he, he gets out of the car and I say, hey, how you doing? And I, I attempt to just walk on by. And um, he basically accosts me and, and forces He's a pat down. He said, can we talk, um, you know, something like I got a call or something like that. Okay, and so that's true, you had a call. And I just kept walking. Okay. Um, and then that's when he grabbed my arm and, and forced me to put my legs like this. He grabbed my crotch like three times. I'm gonna, okay. I'm, I really think the guy's a problem. Um, and he had this just stupid smile on his face all the time, which is just, just kind of like, hey, you know, I can do this to you because mm -hmm. you're doing something I don't like. And you have all this on video? Yep, all on my GoPro. And um, at that point, I asked him, what's your reasonable articulable suspicion? What crime do you suspect mm -hmm. me of? I said, I understand I'm doing something unusual. Let me explain myself. But we can have a consensual conversation like two grown men, like mm -hmm. two taxpayers, two citizens. You don't have to force me into this weird pat down. And, mm -hmm. you know, I said, and I asked him, am I free to go? And he's like, no, you're being forced to be detained. Mm -hmm. Their California law is very clear, especially PC 148G. Taking pictures of things, no matter what time, is not suspicion by itself. I totally agree. He told me it was. And he said, well, you know, there's terrorism and stuff. So basically, he's treating me like a terrorist, in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, and if that's the case, they've already won. This is pretty stupid. I'm a taxpayer. I don't there's expect... A, just, and a, I, I get his, I get his side. There's a big fuel terminal there. There's a fire station. There's a police facility. Sure. You know, I'm not saying that... But have a, con have a conversation. Yeah, I'm not saying you can't take pictures there. You can take pictures from any public place. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, you know, when I have contact with people like yourself, because I run into them all the time, well, I'm not on the streets anymore. You seem a lot more sane. <laughs> but, but, yeah. but what it is is, you know, I'll run into someone like, you know, say, hey, you know something? Um, it's not illegal what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, you can take pictures all you want, but, you know, I had a radio call for you. You don't mind if I just check you out really quick. Mm -hmm. And usually it's a nice little conversation, and I let them go. Um, there have been people in the past that have taken pictures that ended up being people on, you know, certain lists and things like that. So there is mm -hmm. some validity to the stops. Now, I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly what Well, happened. those same people use toothpaste and drive cars. I mean, what are you going to outlaw? I well, mean, the problem is we Google Maps shows everything better than you could get. Right. We don't know who they are. They, they, yeah. they look just like us, right? Some of them. It's acceptable collateral damage, though, in, in a free society. I don't to, like you know. it either. I don't like it any more than you do. Yeah. I hate it, in fact. Because just like you said, the bad guys are winning when we have to do these things. But mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying he's, he did everything great, right? Yeah. yeah. But I am, I understand his mode of thinking, and he was probably trying mm -hmm. to do the right thing. So I guess what I need to ask you is, what would you like me to do about it? Because I can educate the officer. Well, okay. So he, so I mean, Officer Kurtowski needs to know that in regards to 148G, mm -hmm. it's not suspicion in itself. Have a conversation, that's one thing, but mm -hmm. just physically grab somebody and pat them down and force them, you know, like, into a conversation. Afterwards, I said, am I free to go? And he was like, well, and I'm like, am I free to go? And he's like, yeah. And I'm just like, goodbye. I didn't want to. After, At after, that point, he let you go. I just walked away, yeah. He said, he said I wasn't detained, so I didn't wait around. Right. But if someone's going to start a conversation off by just grabbing you and patting you down without it and not letting you speak, do you think you're going to want to talk afterwards? I mean, that's just silly. Oh, no, I totally get that. He I didn't understand. even ID me, so I don't know what the point was. Right. Well, well did he ask you for your ID? Yeah, but he didn't. I mean, if he thought terrorism was afoot, he should have forced so me to give he, him... When he asked you for your ID, did you offer 
to him? No, it's not. I'm not legally obliged to. Okay. So did I give you a reason why you asked for the ID? T terrorism. Okay. So usually, if I want to ask for ID, sir, do you mind if I look at your ID just so I can check you out and like, let mm -hmm. you go when you're done? Yeah. Would you give me your ID, probably? Maybe. I mean, usually right. I don't. I mean, it just depends on the situation. Yeah, well, I don't want my name on a field report just for doing something that's completely innocent. Right. You know? no, I'd, I'd rather. It, and I wouldn't want to either. Yeah. Right. Okay. Ninety-nine uh, percent of the time, I don't. Um, if, he he just. If if you could let him know that, you just that kind of like, there's police out there that are good. I have a cousin, in law who's a cop. He's awesome. He's in Torrance actually. Good guy. Um, but this. When, when cops, when there's something out of the ordinary, like I might be that 1% that's actually doing something legitimate, I'm a night photographer, mm -hmm. these are my hours, mm -hmm. but when you start off a conversation by, when you just, when you start off a stop by doing that to somebody, it earns the hate that's out there. Yeah, if you're gonna mm -hmm. do it, why don't you call and say, hey, I'm going to be in this area, taking pictures, I'm a photographer. I used to do that, and then the dispatcher would say, well, if they get called, they still have to come and talk to you. So it didn't seem like it was really doing well, that's anything. that's the problem with our police world now, if there's a radio call, if, even if it's, you know, someone threw a beer can on my lawn, <laughs> yes. we know, right? I mean, we yeah, know yeah. every little thing, and that's part of it, too, because, I mean, obviously you're saying that you feel like it's oppression, right? But on the uh -huh. other hand, police departments are trying to do all this work because the society has said, hey, you guys aren't doing enough, you need to go to everything. So that's another oh, side well. of it, right? So they, they kind of mash against each other a little bit. And he has very good attention, I'm sure. Maybe it didn't go very well, which I probably mm -hmm. agree based on what you're telling me. I haven't talked to him yet because mm -hmm. uh, he's still in the field. Like, hold him in. I'm going to talk to him afterwards. But based on what you tell me, I don't like it either mm -hmm. because I think it could have went a lot better. He, he, he was sitting there. Um, I think he just kind of took, he ran on the assumptions of the security guards. And the security guards are probably the least trained of any of the people around. And so they, they get a wild hair on their head. And who knows what they told them on the radio. Yeah, now traditionally I, you know. in that back area, we've had a lot of things happen. So yeah. that might be part of it. But I'm just telling you what might be in the yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know for sure. Um, field terminal, police facility, fire department, you know, whatever else is there. I'm not saying that I agree with what he did, right? But I can mm. get why he wanted to contact you, not only from the radio call, but because of the location and the time of night. And now yeah. when I hear your side and you tell me, hey, I'm a night photographer, I take pictures of cool things, I get that side too. Trust me. Yeah. Right? But he, I doesn't, wouldn't have... he doesn't know this though. He doesn't know this True. when he first contacts you. But, but the law is like all on the side of, um, you know, not and assuming. that's the part that I'm going to work on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? I'm going to work on that. But he started, it, it, there, I mean, you have to admit there are a ton of cops that have kind of an authority trip. And I think he, he was, it, it almost seemed like a roid rage or something, except he's a really tiny guy. But, um, like, it's, you know, he was <laughs> trying to force my arm over. And I'm like, tell me what you want me to do because you're not strong enough to force me. Like, you know, he should probably hit the weights a little more. But... Uh, he's a wiry guy, but but still, you know, it was kind of um, just really annoying. Just yeah. What can I do to fix the problem? Uh, I understand. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to him. I need to educate him. But what would make yeah. you happy? I mean, probably at this point, just that. Just if you, got, if in one of your roll calls, mm -hmm. maybe you could mention. I mean, I don't know how busy they are, but no, I'll, I will do it on the very next one that I have with them. Okay. I say this about Saucer. Uh, he has recently come back to patrol. He's away for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, he hasn't been on a lot of calls lately. Uh, not to defend him, but I just want you to know what's going on. Uh, I plan to educate him fully, regardless of what you do. I mean, you can, cool, yeah. you can write your thing, send it in, you can complain about me if you want. Maybe he's just um, a little rusty or something. Well, I'm going to work on him, but, and I'm going to make yeah. sure it doesn't happen with him anymore. And I'm going to teach the officers, because I usually teach that, mm -hmm. usually every few months anyways. That's and I cool. just haven't got to him yet. When you want people to, um, you want people like me to be friendly and want to come up if I do see something weird. You know, not like, like, I would just call the JTTF now. I wouldn't talk to you guys because I'm like, that guy's not. But yeah. I'm going to fix tonight's problem immediately. And I hope okay. that satisfies you for at least that portion. And then whatever you write up, you can send in. Yeah. Okay. No, that's cool. Thanks, man. All right. Take care. Thanks for seeing me. Right. Have a good one. Okay.